everyone welcome to the matrix oracle my name is audrey this is your month of july 2024 reading so it's going to be a pick a card but some of you if you like to decide according to your sun sign we're going to set it up per element so let's look at the four first cards so we can pick those piles Ooh, there they are we got four Okay, so we are right now, as I'm channeling this, in cancer season, still. So we're going to start with the pile number one for water. So water, then fire, then earth, and then air. Okay, so water pile, or pile number one, we have Archangel Sandal Fawn with center and ground. Then pile number two with the element of fire, we have an Archaea, Archaea Hope, expect the best. Beautiful energy. And then for the element of earth, we have Archangel Raphael with prioritize your health. Last but not least, the air element with Archaea Joy, Prioritize Play and Pleasure. Beautiful card. All right. We're going to put some more cards for those piles. But you can already... Oop! Ooh, this one was there. So we're going to leave it there. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, my Lord! <laughs> okay. Okay, we got two on this one all right well just leave it as is if you like to watch the preparation there's something about order there's a reorganization that i can already feel for the month of july and we'll leave the tarot cards for later okay so again pick your card Pick your pile, and by the way, if you're watching this later in time also, you can just decide to pick a different pile later on. You can watch it according to your sun sign. I will see you for the prediction. If you picked pile number one, let's see what's coming up next for you in the month of July 2024. So it is connected to the water element. It can be your sun sign, it can be your rising sign, your moon sign. It can just... Listen to your intuition. We have Archangel Sandalphon, center and ground. Now, right away, <laughs> it might be the teacher in me that cannot help myself, but I feel called to let you know that when I work with the direction of the universe and I do a little bit of alchemy work, I know that Archangel Sandalphon is connected to the direction below with the element of ether. And with the earth here, I feel that there's some type of intervention, okay? There's something uh, that is occurring from above, down, down below. There's something here. And I feel that if you pick this pile, there's probably some energies that you're grounding. You're grounding maybe insights, downloads, visions, it's something that is from the ether element, so a little bit of magic particle here, God's particle, uh, that is being brought down to earth. So I would, and I feel like this reading is going to help us get a little bit of insights about this carved, um, carved heart. It's almost like there's an opening of doorways, a gateway opening for you in July 2024, pile number one. Let's see, we have two cards that literally flew there. We have, ooh, this is nice. Collaboration brings more sweetness into my life and into the world. Wow, beautiful. Some of you, you started meditating uh, with me. I have a meditation temple where we gather, I, I could not help myself but think about this because I use tuning forks and they're just here, okay? And I was using them to clear the space 
So maybe that's something we want to do right now. This is 174 and 285. So it really helps with move, moving some of the uh, first layers, you know, uh, that can affect our physical body and move. Actually, 285, I really felt as I was doing more energy work with the group that it was opening up the pathways, the meridians. There was some energy line that were opening more and more. So let's just do this just for the pleasure of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. For some of you, there's a lot of shift in terms of your energy, the things that you have worked on. On yourself you see all this yellow there's a lot of sweetness there's also a lot of green um, that really feels that you've healed some of the upper uh, the lower heart you know from the solar plexus to the heart center so allowing more of that energy kundalini energy to rise and clear the pathway I feel a third one let's do it <laughs> That must be the magician in me. <laughs> All right. And let's see what we have. Oh, I celebrate my lineage and honor my ancestors. Oh, maybe also, you know, the ancestral lineage, the magician. Some of you, you might have inherited from all this knowledge of working with nature, working with the earth. Working with the cycle of the moons, there's a lot of green. There's a lot. Oh my God, I feel, I just felt and I heard it loud and clear, like putting roots. So some of you, maybe there is, a, especially with the grounding, it's like some of your visions, some of your intentions. Let's make it a little bit closer here. Um, maybe of your manifestation, maybe certain things that you've been working on. There's a collaboration, and I would say not just on the physical plane, but with the higher and unseen realms. You know, there's like here the angelic realm, the archangels, archaeas, you know, source energy, and here the past energy of our ancestors, the ones that have lived on earth. This feels beautiful. Really, you are pile number one in the month of July 2024. I feel that you're going to see more and more how certain steps that you took, certain things that you cleared, certain things that were dear to your heart that you did not give up on are going to start coming full circle. Let's see what we have here. Ooh. This is, this is pile number one. This is a beautiful month for you. And we haven't even pulled the tarot cards. Opportunities, an important offer will be made. Be prepared and dress to impress. I mean, wow. You know, as I pull this up, because we're going to pull some more cards here, I really felt a crowd watching you. You know, as if like there was, I don't know why the <laughs> the ball came as an image, you know, or some of you getting out of the Cinderella story. There's that, that happy ending, this fairy tale energy, but otherwise just simply people celebrating you, celebrating an achievement. There's something that is going to be worth celebrating. Some of you, it could be also a birthday or it could be something that you're celebrating as a milestone. I really feel like there's something um, worth celebrating, but also that is going to bring a lot of attention, attention to the world, to you, to your world. Okay. And even your angel and ancestral team, you know, that are rooting for you that are rooting for you to move forward in that direction. This is, wow, This is, I love it. Okay, all right, let's pull some more tarot cards and see if there's anything else that wants to be shared for the month of July 2024 for pile number one associated with water signs. Okay, the emperor. Okay, this is, this is associated with the sign of Aries. We see it on the throne. Aries is very much about a master teacher of, you know, the light work of Aries is about 
setting the ground for your vision. So there's something you've done. (laughs) Pile number one, there's something you've done that has shifted the map, that has shifted um, how your life is going to unfold. That feels like a big quantum leap. Some of you, as I'm just saying this, I feel like you know, and you just needed to find this reading to have this confirmation. There is, wow, there's a lot of yellow. There's a lot, there's a lot that pops up. And I feel that it's more of a yellow that is your inner light, a glow in you. There's a different glow that is going to come emanate from you from what you've discovered, from what you started to envision and that's starting to manifest and that's starting to unfold. I feel that some of you, you're almost not going to believe your eyes, (laughs) even though you're, you're knowing that in order to see it in the physical, you had to see it beyond it. You had to foresee it. Okay. So yes, Aries puts a lot of the groundwork, the grid work. It, it, it offers, you know, that stage. I don't know why. Some of you, you must be doing something in front of people. I don't know. Those, those cards keep on sliding, so I'm going to take them. Whoa. The Queen of Pentacles. And, oh, jeez. The sun. Pile number one. Like, give me your secret sauce. <laughs> This is amazing. This, under the opportunity, and I don't know why my eyes got caught with the little rabbit, okay? Um, And right away, when I have animals, I do work with a tarot deck that has animals, and sometimes there's just cards that stand up and stand out. And this one is associated in that other deck with the Seven of Pentacles that speaks, uh, and it says reaping what you saw the, some of you it's been a long i feel that we're reaching a culmination of all the efforts okay maybe some of you you had to gather also i'm feeling certain aspects of a certain knowledge or maybe certain skills you had to learn this and this and this you had to rehearse this you maybe received and channel some of this from the dna some of that you know it just feels um like a pieces of the puzzle and you did not give up on that and there's this this illumination from what is possible to you next i feel there is I, I'm going to mention it for because I'm seeing it and it's going to be for some of you, not everyone. Um, there might be a child that wants to be born or that is about to be born in this new vision. There's something as far as a new... And if it's not a child, it's a new desire. Maybe you creating or you receiving what you're receiving through the month of July. I'm hearing for some of you, it's a new news. It's coming through the phone. It's coming through an email. It's coming. It's, it's, it feels a little bit like almost like a surprise. Some of you, you could find out that you're pregnant, that you didn't expect that. Um, but it, it really feels as if it's in alignment with a collaboration of your ancestors and the and of heavenly kingdom okay and that's something that wanted to be manifested in the exact and perfect order and timeline that i'm seeing that is coming for you i'm still curious i don't know what i'm curious about it's like can we have a little bit more details about this month of july is there Anything in particular that my viewers would like to hear or know about that vision? Yes, I'm hearing that some of you watching, you just know what that is because that's why you landed here. This is interesting, landing. Again, the land. Some of you, maybe you had to travel. Maybe you had to relocate. Maybe it's a relocation. Wow but it was always faded. 
with the justice card. This is something also I feel that maybe there was some injustice in the past. Okay, this is also the sign of Libra. There might have been some injustice in the past, and especially I'm being called to look at all the green. Maybe there's something, um, you know, in terms of uh, relationships that had to be rebalanced. Maybe some of you were overgivers. Some of you had to learn boundaries because in order for the emperor to have all this power, for Aries to do the work that is meant to be as far as learning manifestation, you know, all the laws of the universe, it needs to know and gatekeep. It needs to know and have proper boundaries. So some of you, in order to be on that highest timeline, manifest those opportunities, you really had to create that field that um, where you kind of set yes and no to certain things. Okay, it's kind of like it's going with the flow, but at the same, it's surrendering to source. But at the same time, it's really claiming certain preferences, saying like, I won't, I don't want this. You know, I'm not repeating this cycle uh, as tempting as this person might look or enticing this opportunity can be. I know I won't be happy. I've already, you know, lived the situation. Some of you, it had to go through this. It's almost like the universe needed to respond to your vibration. Remember, we were working with this as far as the tuning forks. I think that some of you, if you are watching this and you're still struggling with the vibration, I would say uh, we're going to channel some of my uh, vibration frequency as a support. Okay, but I really feel that most of you, ooh, a shadow here, um, you have done a lot of work and a shadow wants to be explored here. Yeah, the star. This is also connected to Aquarius. This is also healing. This is also, you know, I feel because Aquarius is connected to the gallbladder in the terms of the meridians. Some of you, you know, I'm kind of a little geek with astrology and, and the body. I like to understand how the planets move us. Because ultimately, that's why you're interested in astrology. Some of you that are watching this and some of you who are just watching the cards know that each tarot cards are connected to a placement in the astrology chart or the astrology wheel. And there's something here as far as the how the energy moves. And gallbladder, the gallbladder works with the liver. And the liver is said to be in Chinese medicine to receive the soul. This is connected to Pisces. So Pisces and Aquarius work very closely together. One receives the soul that receives the inspiration, that receives the energy. And that's why people who have a liver problem, it's when they're trying to process things that are un unorganic to them. Okay, the toxicity, this is why it works so, so much. And this is also a lesson that you had to learn, pile number one, with removing some of the toxicity, saying no to certain things, so you had clear boundaries for the proper action, the proper alignment for your divine destiny, for the divine opportunities to come and materialize. So that's the only shadow that I, I see, it's that, the gallbladder helps us feel inspired action. You know, it's like once we receive that energy, it gives us the momentum to do it. So if some of you have been feeling stuck, you probably had to rebalance certain energies in your life. Okay, I already feel that um, if you resonate with this, you might want to do one simple exercise at night to help just bring more chi, more life force into your body. You go, I'm going to post it here, um, into my playlist for the 12 organs. Okay, the tw and I'm going to put this pile number one <laughs> so I don't forget. All right, pile number one, um, the 12 organs. And the order that I put the playlist on, so you can just put the playlist and put it on, it's specifically meant to build your chi and clear some of the pathway, okay? So let's see if there's another frequency card that can support pile number one. Okay. 
Oh, we also have, oh, this is interesting, the bladder, allowing serenity and patience. Interestingly, this is connected to uh, the justice card with Libra here, the bladder. Uh, again, I'm telling you, I'm a little geeky with this, <laughs> knowing all those lines of energies. Uh, so ultimately, just pulling this tells me working with the organs and knowing this, so gallbladder in specific, because it was in the shadow and it came also here as a necessity, as a condition here with the justice card, the bladder. Okay, that's that's what I have for you, pile number one. I am loving this energy for you. So water signs or just pile number one for the month of July 2024. All right, that's all I have for you. I trust this supported you in wonderful ways. Happy month of July. If you want to look at more details on how to connect with me, book with me, what I am offering for this month, I do have a special for reading your Chiron. Uh, some of you know that I'm very fond of reading Chiron or Chiron's energy because it helps us become our own healer. Okay, so you can go and check it out down below. Thank you. If you chose pile number two or also watching this according to your sun sign, this would be a fire sign. Let's see what are your predictions for the month of July 2024. We have hope with Archaea Hope. Expect the best. What I love this is that we are in cancer season and just seeing all this energy. That's something, uh, again, that's my little geeky alchemist side. Uh, Archaea Hope is connected to the direction of the West, which is associated with the element of water, which works also with Archangel Gabriel. This helps us change at a molecular uh, level. I feel that this is what it's saying, like when you set your mind, because what expectations come from a mindset, you know, it's like you set your mind, you prime your mind in July 2024 for the best to come into materialization, okay? And as you do this for you, pile number two, I'm feeling that you're affecting your vibration on a cellular level. I feel it as if the, some of you, maybe you might have started to do some energy work, especially, let me look at this. It feels like it's shaped as a heart, you know, but it is connected to the womb a little bit. It's not on her chest. Okay, I'm already receiving for you, pile number two, and I'm going to write it down. Um, womb heart recalibration this is this is something that i have shared it's part of my exclusive membership but i do have as well one that is available for everyone that helps with healing and detoxifying the womb okay so it seems that what i'm receiving for you pile number two is that right off the bat it's saying you deserve your creation to be manifested and they will be manifested because they come from your heart. Some of you, if you feel any blocks, it's probably from childhood. It's probably from a long time ago. It's probably from a pattern of thinking, you know, that create a certain bubble or a certain expression to manifest again and again. But this month, there's something that snaps you out of this. And you know what? Some of you, you know, I have my meditation temple where I share a lot of my energy work. I want to bless you with those frequencies here. So 174 and 285, I like to make them ring together. That's something that happened uh, naturally while I was doing energy work. Like literally my hand just went boom. And I was like a little girl giggling because that was the most magical sound that I felt ever. <laughs> just two tuning forks ringing together. So let's start here, breathe in. And exhale out. Inhale, breathe in. And exhale out. One more time, breathe in. 
and exhale out. Beautiful. So this helps, you know, remove some of the negativity, the programs that are very connected to our to our manifested physical reality. And this, I really feel, changes and shifts a lot of the meridians, the way the energy, the chi circulates. Uh, and again, there's particular association with tuning forks, but this is coming, my, my association or my interpretation is from all the energy work that I, I do for myself or in groups. Um, so that's something, if you're interested, you can look down below. Let's see what else. Ooh, yes, play is my pathway to joy. In the month of July, maybe some of you, especially you see how this is all pink. It feels like the heavens is trying to shift, uplift, uprise certain old things that used to worry you and bring you down on earth. Uh, especially, I would say here with the cycles of the moon, you know, a, a version of yourself. You see, there's a lot of circles, semi-circle, a lot of movement, opening up to new possibilities, opening up for dreams that you didn't dare to dream to come about. I really feel that's that's a message here. Let's see we, what we have. Yes, look at this change. Of course you're changing. So some of you in the month of July, you know, uh, you're really, pile number two, you're really rediscovering, I feel, uh, the playfulness of the inner child. Yes. Yes, you're removing some of the old toxicity that maybe some of you, they, they, I feel, maybe certain shame around your sexuality, your sensuality, your body, your expression. Yeah. A change of, oh, there might be also this, a change of residence, partner, career, job is on the cards. You're restless and in need of a change and that is exactly what is coming your way. Ooh, maybe this is the waters that were stagnant in the past. Okay, we're shifting this. You're receiving, because again, this is for a collective group of people watching this and it's going to resonate differently for everyone. So if you were guided to pile number two or connected to a sun sign in uh, or a sign or placement in your chart that is connected to fire, there is an indication that you're removing some of the old energies of the past. You're letting yourself enjoy more of the physical manifestation of this reality. Just then, I feel that some of you dancing would be a great way to do this. I'm hearing also sweating. Try to sweat more because a lot of you, like when you do energy work with me, I tell you to hydrate because when you actually just did this little tuning fork thing, like the vibration that you're receiving, all the cells in your body that are not in that vibration, okay, they're going to release the, I would say like, this is this this harmonious and i said this is the, the cell the nucleus okay and so it it sheds the water it sheds all the water and sometimes the cell literally dies and releases all its um its water or it just you know brings back new life and that's why i feel for you this this is this shedding that um i'm, I'm also seeing like a sweat lodge you're going in july to just shed an old version of you that is going to bring forward, bring space for such more a playful, joyful version of yourself. And I feel that some of you, it's, it was very much linked to what you felt you deserve to receive, what you felt you deserve to create. Um, now let's get the cards for a little bit more. Okay, so there's a shadow already that wants to show itself. Let's see. Ooh, the hermit. Permit. Okay, it seems that maybe some of you, pile number two, you had to go through um, a little bit of a, a phase where you had to hermit. You had to be a little bit more solitary. Um, there's different interpretation that I feel that I felt because I I can't take that card. <laughs> it won't come with me. Uh, mm, it won't come with me. I feel as some of you, you were you were dimming your light. 
So maybe you were, remember here it says a change of a job, of a partner, a lot of things could be changing. So maybe you were in a situation that was limiting your light. You were in a situation that was dimming your potential, that was dimming your creative self, your creativity. Yeah. Some of you could have been from a relationship and you had to stay a little bit by yourself to do this type of work. But in July, if that's the case, there's an unleashing. But there was definitely something that you also were thinking. Remember that, what we were saying as far as the, 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 the bubble of information affecting the waters? Something that you used to think or perceive about yourself. Maybe not even perceive, like not being able to see your value, not being able to see how extraordinary you were in some shape and form of things that you accomplished. And in the month of July, this is actually being highlighted. This is being highlighted. There's probably, for the ones watching this, a cosmic alignment. A cosmic, but this is interesting, but I, I can't, I just, and there's going to be a choice that is going to be presented here for you. There's definitely in the month of July, um, some offer, it could be a new relationship, it could be a new location, it could be a new job, a new home, there's a renewal, even if it's just like a new class, a new skill, and if you see this coming, and you've heard this, okay, and you still hesitate, know that you can have access to it very easily through quantum shifting of your vibration. And I would say I usually pick cards uh, for the healing, but I really kind of know intuitively what you would need. And I'm going to put those videos here um, where this is, this is my album, The Quantum Fascia Healing. Okay, some of you might be some old addiction, uh, some ways of limiting yourself by numbing your instincts, by numbing your emotions to please others. Okay, but we're not doing this anymore. We're not. We are not. <laughs> but um, I did see on this part of the reading in my recording that 11-11, so there's definitely an awakening and maybe a partnership that could come forward with this. We'll, we'll see. So what else do we need to know for pile number two and the fire element for the month of July? Oh, wow. Pile number one had the same thing with the emperor. And for you, I really feel a little bit of that same message as far as boundaries. Some of you, you had, you had to learn boundaries. You had to learn, and I would say even, this is a little bit different for you, because I feel that it could have been boundaries from how you let yourself think. You know how sometimes we spiral, let ourselves spiral into a certain way of thinking? Let me just bring this a little bit closer, okay? That's what I feel for you, is that you could have become from, you know, trying to dim yourself or not, outshine or make people uncomfortable, started to rehearse certain pattern of thought that you have been working on to shift. Because I, I, I can sense that. And if you don't feel that it's yet happened, it's happening in July. Mm -hmm. Especially once you hear it, it's like you can't, you can forget hearing this, so wh whether you can apply it right away or not. That's a different story. But you will always remember, hey, I, I remember hearing this, you know, in this reading. I love this. Let's see what we have. <gasps> wow. The chariot. Cancer season also, because this is connected to cancer. There's a, again, this is a card of change. You've changed. And you're changing. And with the six of cups, this is a card that traces back to your childhood that traces back to the inner child that traces back in some of you again that could be a love from the past we will we will go and venture a little bit for this one because <laughs> you know we might be curious what is that okay for some of you that are uh you know looking for a relationship or you know ending a relationship 
again, those, those situations can be very complex, so I'm not going to list them all. But there is definitely in the month of July 2024 for you pile number two associated to fire element, okay? A, a drastic shift on how you can express your joy, your pleasure, just feeling childlike. The, I am so happy for you because I feel that some of you, it's like maybe you're even going to meet someone that makes you giggle, okay? I'm hearing a lot of giggles. <laughs> I would love that. Can we have a little bit for the ones that are about to meet someone, if that's the case? Uh, for the ones that resonate, can we have a little bit of details about this? Because I, I really feel that oop, some of you want to hear this. Okay, the Eight of Cups. This is interesting. Let me tap into this. You know, the Eight of Cups, and that goes into the Zodiac, is associated with the first degrees of... Pisces that speak of change and that speak of ancestral healing and I feel that some of you you're going to be attracting a relationship that is very healing to your soul okay even though it's because you removed those cups that you're able to feel the joy you know the cups that felt that felt empty, that felt like they were, there was no reciprocity. And this is something that you've allowed yourself to shift by spending more time with yourself. Also, maybe at times feeling the discomfort of being by yourself or being dimmed or feeling that you have to be dim or dimmer. Mm -hmm. So that was a little side note for those that are in that space of relationship that could be shifting now can we have more details for everyone else as far as the month of july 2024 please for pile number two i'm hearing um go outdoors some of you go and take a run take a hike uh i don't know if it is through you know what I think I'm, I'm, I know what I'm getting, is that for the ones that are struggling with the pattern of thoughts, okay, and that sometimes overthink, overplan, because a lot of the, this thing, especially when you connect to joy and the inner child, this is not logic that gets you there. This is pleasure and this feels good, okay? Um, so some of you, if you are caught in overthinking, overplanning, overestimating, overwatching readings to get your answers, okay? Um, what I'm receiving with the running is that it creates space or just taking a hike, watching nature. Empty your mind. In the moments where it's too much, empty your mind. The Five of Cups. This is related to... The energy of Scorpio in the zodiac whale. And this is connected, and this is interesting where you have a bridge. And I feel like some of you, there's 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 concept of prosperity in this card, okay, in terms of the zodiac wheel, and also resolving your own inner wars there's a lot of disappointment here i feel as some of you maybe maybe your inner child and the things that you're creating and whether it's personal relationship your job there's maybe too much expectation that you're putting into and not <laughs> it says here expect the best but the expectations in terms of how it's going to look how it's going to have a specific form. Here, the universe wants you to expect the best, but at the same time, to be open to what that best version is. And gosh, sometimes, you know, it's almost like every time you get disappointed because it didn't turn out this way, that's a trick that I was trained at some point. I think it was 2023. 
Okay, every time that something that I was shooting for did not manifest, I was receiving the information to train myself to say like, oh my God, if did that not work out? And I already thought I was going to love it and wanted it so much. Imagine, Audrey, okay, how much better the actual result is going to be. And it would make me giggle. It would make me laugh. I was like, oh my God, this is so much fun. I had never dealt with like receiving like no's and closed doors in that way ever, where I was like, oh my God, I really thought I liked this job or I liked this opportunity. And I trust in the universe that is going to respond to the best. Expect the best. And when I finally got the best, oh my God, it was almost like people still to this day are telling me like, how do you manifest stuff like that? <laughs> and I shared a story. I shared this is, this is how you get momentum that transcends you beyond the, the you know, limited perception of like a no or a closed door. Because it's almost like, no, that's not the energy that's even bigger. The picture is even bigger. And I think this is something you're rehearsing in the month of July 2024, pile number two. So I'm really loving this. I hope you enjoyed my little story about this because I think this is a great way to illustrate. If you need support, you have the frequencies. You can also look in the description box below forward over uh, to my offerings. I do have a special promo with Chiron. Um, Chiron is the wounded healer. It helps you activate your own healing, your own healer, your own guru. So if some of you feel any, any type of way, or if you have questions, you can always send me an email. Thank you so very much. I trust you got the answers and the support you needed at this time. But remember, enjoy, try to enjoy and have fun through the month of July, 2024. Namaste. If you chose pile number three, or and the element of earth. Those messages are for you for the month of July 2024. We have Archangel Raphael with prioritize your health. Okay, I have to share this with you right off the bat. I do a lot of energy work with Archangels, Archaeas, and Archangel Raphael is connected to the direction of the East works with the element of air. The element of air is connected to the heart chakra. Now, what this archangel is doing here with the two crystals activated, and I feel like it's it could be crystals or it could be just the hand chakra being activated. I feel this is talking about your health in terms of your give and take especially in terms of relationships. And I already have for you, so you're going to be able to um, look here for a playlist, my Auric Health and Wealth playlist. Okay, so pile number three. Okay, this, this little post-it is <laughs> looking messy, <laughs> but okay. All right. Um, so that's right off the bat, something that I feel, and some of you, especially with that whole purple cape, I feel that you are divinely protected, but you're also being divinely guided to learn proper um, recipro reciprocity in relationships, okay? And this month of July 2024, it seems to be of the essence for you because we're talking about health. And some of you, you might even have certain placement in your astrology chart. I know that's my case. That's how I learned it. Um, that when you don't pay attention to the reciprocity, this will actually even drain your bank account. Yep. <laughs> so some of you, if you're in the red just now, uh, there might be not proper reciprocity, okay, in certain shape or form. Okay, what else? Wow, you're really all about food here. Con conscious eating nourishes me. Pile number three in the month of July, there's something about food. Okay, I already know. Sorry. <laughs> Everyone in the higher realms, please, the downloads, calm down. <laughs> I'm receiving a lot of information. But you see here, right away, I'm seeing the lettuce with all the green. 
and I'm seeing especially figs, okay? Figs are purple on the outside with lots of little seeds, okay? And we have blueberries. Did we make that up? Oh my God, we could not. You can't make that up. Like the bowl, the fruit bowl is just made of those colors. Okay, so that's something that the universe for you, pile number three, is teaching you is to have literally consciousness that you are eating the rainbow when you eat fruit, your fruits and, and vegetables, like the color of your food is important. And when I did this right away, I thought about the hand chakra and I'm going to share with you a little practice that I like to do with my food. I like to charge it. And what I do, I rub my hands after I cook my meal and then I put my hands over it, you know, at a distance and I make a gratitude prayer. I bless my food. And when I do this, I love how I feel almost like the nutrition of everything. And sometimes what's interesting is that I like to then put my hands in front of my face, not on my face, but just in front to feel the power, just reverb on my face, you know, as a thank you, just like, thank you. Um, you can have your own practice, but there's something here about releasing the hand chakra. So some of you uh, know that that's even an old woman's tell when you're itching in your palms, especially the right, you're going to be giving money. And when you're itching your left, you're receiving money. This is your receiving on the left. And this is your giving on the right. So there is certain, there's something here for you, pile number three, that is trying to connect your materialized reality as simple as money. I don't know why, but I feel like for you, pile number three, maybe money is of the essence this month. And like my album suggests, your wealth and your health are very much connected. You know, your give and take with the universe, how you allow yourself to receive and give in exchange and vice versa continuously. Okay, so there seems to be some major readjustment and probably guidance around this. Challenges. Take time out from problems or conflict or approach softly to avoid making matters worse. Okay, so when I said matter, I feel as some of you, if it is about dif financial difficulty, um, I'm hearing the word frugality. Maybe there's something as far as uh, reassessing what you have and how to make the best out of what you have to show gratitude. One thing that I remember uh, teaching myself was to say thank you when I was able to pay my bills. Because I remember the times where, oh my God, I couldn't catch a break. And it seemed that the system here was always broken. <laughs> it was, I really had to be more mindful and every time, and it was not overspending, it was just always paycheck to paycheck or barely making it. Uh, it was more like, hey, you know, how much do you really need today? And how far can this make, you, can you make it last, okay? And it was like taking conscious of my own give and take to myself, okay? And I feel that there is something here that you're learning about balancing your yin and your yang. That could be something also that you want to do. Maybe some of you, part of this rebalancing is also how much you do and how much you let yourself be. Because some of you just overdoing, overworking, having like X amount of jobs or hours to work. Sometimes you're still not getting out of that spiral because maybe you're not getting yourself enough rest, enough proper nutrition. I'm going to put another playlist for you and it's going to be the yin yang uh, frequency here. Yin yang. I want to make sure that I list it somewhere. All right. But above this, above this, above. So that means there's something above. There's something beyond this that wants to come forward. Let's see what the cars are sharing for you. Pile number three for this month of July. Because this is all about mindfulness. 
this is all about teaching you that little small things like watching what you eat, watching how much you sleep, getting proper uh, nutrition and, and sleep and rest is going to be important in July, is going to almost, I feel, alleviate some of those challenges. The Three of Cups. This is interesting because this card sometimes can talk about overindulging. This feels very interesting to just feel right now. Hmm. Yeah. Let me see this a little clearer. There's something about the red. There's something about the root. Okay, I do feel that for you. I'm going to do a little energy work with my tuning force. Okay. We're going to remove, so 396 root chakra and 174. Some of you might have been like a lot of hardship, a lot of pain that we're going to just shift a little bit. So inhale. And exhale. Inhale and exhale. One more time. Inhale and exhale. I feel that for you, breathing, taking more time to enjoy, to celebrate is going to be important, okay? It feels like in the month of July for you, pile number three, there's something about the doing and the being, the giving and the receiving that needs to be prioritized because the universe wants you to celebrate more of your achievement some of you could be as simple as like my little story where saying, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm so grateful that I can pay this bill. I'm so grateful that I can come up with the money on time. I'm so grateful, you know, for me, sometimes I have to remind myself um, I had two hip fractures and at some point I was partially paralyzed on the right side. I had to learn how to stand on my two legs again and walk. That was, that was something that it, at some point in my life, it was my only goal. And I feel that for you, pile number three, this is something that the universe wants you to give to yourself. You're giving back to yourself when you're acknowledging some of the challenges that you've overcome. Because you see here, it's also a celebration. Okay, so celebrate some of the challenges. Celebrate some of the things that you've been able to overcome in the month of July. This energy shows gratitude. And with gratitude comes a lot of blessings. So let's see what else we're getting through the tarot cards as messages for you. Pile number three. Once pile number three honors themselves, because I feel that this is honoring yourself, honoring yourself with the needs of your body, honoring the things that you need uh, at a soul level. Wow. There you go. More cups. But this is emotional fulfillment. You're feeling whole. And I heard for some reason, again. So maybe some of you, you're working towards a manifestation of a certain reality of, you know, maybe a physical, financial, materialized uh, abundance. But it's saying focus on how everything feels, okay? Focus on not the challenges, but how grateful you are um, with the teachings of those challenges. You probably have enough examples, <laughs> let's, be, let's be real here, of past challenges that you overcome, okay? And that's saying like, even if you're in a pickle right now with certain things, maybe just don't focus on the one that you can't figure out right now because when you realize that you've always figured it out then the solution can come there's an opening here um, that wants to come forward 
I feel like you're um, activating, especially here, the Merkaba. This is your essential vehicle. This also activates yin and yang. Yeah, you would definitely benefit a lot of that for, for, from that frequency list, that playlist. I would say for some of you, um, you could listen to the yang in the morning before you go work. It balances your masculine. Then you can listen to the yin yang around noon and the yin at night. That's something that I practiced. I thought it was really interesting. And you don't have to listen to the full 20 minutes. You can just do 10 minutes each. And that would just give you a frequency attunement. So your, your, your cells can remember this. Okay. Wow. Okay. The Ace of Sword. There's a truth. There's, 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 I feel like in the month of July, almost like just what we said, as far as working on gratitude, prioritizing how you focus and how you celebrate the small victories, like the bigger ones, okay, makes you create momentum on a frequency, the swords, okay, the wind, the air, a frequency also connected to the air that fulfills you emotionally and that helps overcome any challenges. Oh, good. And the judgment. And here the outcome always align with what is fair. This is, this is interesting. I'm, I'm remembering this. Um, if some of you are curious, there is a frequency, I think, called uh, Archangel Gabriel, the trumpet of Archangel Gabriel, 432 Hertz on YouTube, okay? That, that there's this trumpet sound that always makes me have big, big chills, okay? Some of you, I, it just, but it's a frequency. In July 2024, you're being blessed with attuning yourself to the frequency of, of, you know what? If you can be emotionally finding fulfillment and finding a celebration in the challenges, you're literally always finding nourishment and allowing proper give and take from energy source. I really feel that for you, that how activating that is. Now, I do offer currently a special promo for the Chiron Wounded Healer. So your placement in your chart, astrologically, of Chiron. Chiron reveals to you how to become your own guru. Okay, and I've learned a lot from my Chiron. It's actually in retrograde, so usually unfinished <laughs> chapters. And mine is actually about gratitude. It was really like about seeing the silver lining of the challenges. I really had to learn from this. Um, so some of you, that could be something that helps. You have all those frequencies. Let's see if we have some more messages for you, pile number three for the month of July. I feel also that some of the challenges that you had to go through, pile number three, and that in this month, are going to reveal themselves in very different ways that are going to shift a little bit your reality. It was to wake you up in terms of spiritual call. You had to answer the call. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Especially, I was going to say, you know, I, I started <coughs> coughing. I felt it in my throat and I feel that this is with the eight of swords. Watch your words. When you speak, you create a certain frequency that either supports your emotional fulfillment, letting yourself feel supported and celebrated, or not. Yeah. You had to choose. It's almost like stop eating junk food, but not really the food. It's stop feeding your brain junk, <laughs> you know, or your soul junk. Because your soul is, is entirely whole and, and, and perfect in that sense that it's connected to source, to God, to the divine, to the sacred. But we can, with our mind, send this, this pollution. <laughs> yes, and the strength card. 
this is um this is also leo energy i feel as some of you maybe that's something maybe you have a leo placement that you want to inquire maybe your chiron is in leo i don't know because i mentioned this but there's there's here this this indication that you're going to prevail in the month of july 2024 pile number three your energy work as far as how you feed yourself in, in moments where you are being challenged. And if you're watching this and you're not going through any challenge, it's almost like honor, honor the small things that you're able to do that gives you freedom, that doesn't bring you stress anymore. You know, doing maybe a gratitude list, starting your, your morning with gratitude. There's going to be a momentum that is being created. You know, it's like it, you're, you're being taught how to feel more fulfilled with less and especially less doing more being less doing leading you to more satisfaction to more pleasure and to overall you know uh, you answering and, and getting what you deserve the call the call that your soul is drawing you to um to receive, look at her. I just all of a sudden I'm like, yeah, I'm seeing her handing her arm, like give, you know, mama give, mama give. <laughs> I remember in hot yoga having this teacher that was describing a picture, um, a position, you know, saying like, hand your hand out, like mama give me mula, you know, give me money, and and. Uh, and that always made me laugh. But I really feel like this is the universe saying like it wants to shower you back. But can you relax? Can you prioritize your health? Can you prioritize just maybe less doing and trusting that by being more in alignment with how your body needs to rest, to fuel itself, with good thoughts, good food, good company, there is going to be a resolution to everything that could be worrying you at this time when you're watching or just comes up ever, you know, you're just creating momentum to attract more of the greatest things. And that's what I have for you, pile number three for the month of July 2024, or, you know, if you are connected to the earth element. If you need personal guidance, I have all my offers and promotions in the links down below. Thank you so much. And don't forget to like. <laughs> if you chose pile number four or the air element, if you are a sun, air sign, or it could be your rising, your moon, we have here for you pile number four, Archaea Joy with prioritizing play and pleasure. Month of July 2024 looks explosive explode there's something you're unleashing energetically from inside out i really feel that there's something that maybe you did not allow yourself to release before and that is just being pulled out of you just just yeah just so much fun just feeling this now with the number 33 I am being called to um, think about the 33 vertebrae. So it's almost like your whole spine is being activated. Um, it, I'm also feeling because, you know, July is cancer season and Leo season, uh, very much connected to the spine, Leo. So th this is a month where a lot of your, uh, the healing work that you've done, you know, through the beginning of this year is going to show up, show up. I can I can see it show up, <laughs> show off, show. <laughs> um, maybe some of you did something about leveling up. That's why I keep on saying up, up. Okay, um, keeping your frequency high. I love this. And for some of you, if you are YouTube members, there is a thirty-three vertebrae frequency. I think this is also because my membership is called level up <laughs> so so you might want to try this out for uh keeping your vibration up through the through this month okay let's see what else we have we have my instincts keep me adaptable in the face of any obstacle this is interesting it might have some divine detour 
might have some, um, some ways. And I like this because I'm going to tell you, I, I want you to really honor and harness how, when you feel called, Hey, I want to do this. Or, Hey, let me do that. Or, Hey, let me go to the store and buy this. Like, I want you to honor that this is light work. This is spiritual work. This is you manifesting your beingness into this, this reality. You're bringing heaven on earth when you're allowing the little bits and pieces of you to explode in little marshmallow um, and just guide you to do certain things. But, you know, this energy with the fox and the moon, there might be some of you, you might want to connect to my astrology readings for the moon. Okay. Cause you see how there's like a certain geometry on our eye and here there's a moon in the third eye. There's certain cycles of revelation that are unfolding. And so, but it's, it, it is not from point A to point B in a straight line. It goes like, oh, just like a dance a little bit and 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 you're might be sometimes too over prioritizing but when do i get there but the thing is that that's something that i've learned in the many times i manifested things that i wanted if you're not learning the pleasure through getting there once you're there there doesn't have the same level of satisfaction because once you're there then there's nowhere else to go but the next goal or the next there that you want to go to so if you're enjoying then you're there and then you're there and then you're there and it's almost saying like the ultimate there or ultimate destination that you feel you want to reach it's all a series of there there, 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 there. Why is this there more important than this there? I don't know where I, <laughs> I'm getting this, but, but just if you followed me and stayed watching this reading, okay, it was on your, uh, it was on the clock 444 for your part of the reading. So I'm, there's going to be synchronicities about, and you're in pile number four, okay? In the month of July, when you're seeing 444 or 44, I want you to think about my little Audrey story <laughs> with the there, 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 there. Because <laughs> I think it's going to be relevant. Okay. And we have here, yes, burnt out. Your hard work will see results. Look at this. But your health needs to be maintained. So check in with your doctor or, well, you know, that's dentist, health professional, and trying to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Uh, of course, if you have something serious, go to your doctor or your dentist. Um, but it's really telling you, because when you're enjoying, if you absolutely want to go there, okay, but the path is going to be like this, but you're trying to push, push, and then it ends up being like more stuck, 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 because the direction is there, not here. Um, it, it, this is creating resistance in terms of it's, it's over tiring you. Your goal and where you want to be in life should feel easy. It shouldn't feel hard. I think that that's something that I can tell and I would give as an advice with the many years that I've tried to grow channels or that I tried to grow businesses in my life is that I saw that when I was really just focused on the fun and the joy and nothing else, that the ease that I was getting from it, the pleasure that I was getting from it just made everything amplify. Okay, so that's what we have as beginning cards. I've been doing for everyone a little bit of tuning forks. And for you, I feel I want to do the, the third eye. I definitely want to do the third eye with the 285 to open up some of those timelines, okay? And because I've discovered doing the meditation temple with some of you that are part of it, uh, the 285, when I was triggering that, 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 that fork, it, it felt like I was seeing the lines of meridians opening up. 
And some of you, I know that you asked me, how do I know all that I know with sound and sound engineering? And part of the thing is, yes, I've studied it, but I also have had to learn how to rewire some of my nervous system because I got paralyzed on the right side after a hip fracture. And um, while I was reconnecting my nervous system and certain muscles together, I, was, I had to feel this. So there's a lot of my knowledge that comes from feeling versus just knowing. And I feel that this is something that the universe wants you to hear, not to hear just Audrey's story, but to hear that some of the challenges and some of the detours are going to bring you precious knowledge for where you want to go. And it's almost like you're, you're, if you get there without this precious knowledge, there is not going to be like what you think it's going to put the goal goal further because that's part of your equation and i think that some of you that's something you needed to hear so let's move a little bit some of those energies for you let's inhale and exhale inhale and exhale Inhale and exhale. Opening up those lines, clearing the way, but especially bringing more of that alignment for you. All right, let's get the cards and let's see what we have for you. Pile number four. Okay, the Eight of Pentacles is about. It's about work, but here I'm hearing craftsmanship. And a craft is something, it's a skill and it's an art. And I feel like everything I told you about, the art, <laughs> I'm here, <laughs> sorry. That's making me giggle too much. Um, the art of detour. <laughs> okay, thank you for that laugh. Um, it's, it's, a, it's almost like teaching you how to dance. And some of you, you know that's something I say, you know, uh, working in a group with the meditations and the energy work that we're doing is that I feel that our soul are dancing together. There's some of you, that is definitely something that is beneficial for you to let your soul dance and sing and allow the momentum to not just put energy into work, but put energy in restoring, you know? And, and that means that realize that when you're enjoying yourself, yes, of course, you're going to need to sleep and recover from this, especially if you go out dancing or whatever. But there's a, a chemistry that you produce when you're enjoying yourself that is very different when you're working towards something and you're not enjoying it. And it's saying... Your work and your message for July is to enjoy your work as play, you know, and enjoy where it takes you, even if it makes no sense. Gosh, how much of that training I'm getting all the time. <laughs> I have my little planner with, you know, things that, okay, I will go live this day. I will do meditation. And it's like, nope, we're not doing this. So yeah, there's something here that you're learning to enjoy. And it's, it's the art of detour. It's the art of flowing with life. Yes. And here, look at this queen of wands. With the queen of wands, it, there's, there's a glow. You see in here, there's two personality. There's just, there, there's an energy that you're getting. People are going to look up to that energy because with the cat, that is very much about you know, especially the black cat, uh, your intuition, you being able to see in the dark, to see what is coming. She's looking in direction and it's almost like you're going to be able to see um, how things are going to unfold. Like to me, the times when I receive visions of my future and I've had 
all like all those visions so far have manifested uh, the major ones you know and some were like when i was a child um i remember being in a flow state i've always been when i receive those those moments and they feel they feel almost palpable you know and they're not planned and i feel that this is something that is coming for you if you don't burn yourself out and i want to put this card here because I'm feeling like this is a caution. Don't burn yourself out. Go to bed early uh, or, you know, get the proper rest that you need. And so you can fully enjoy how July is going to almost like I'm hearing blow you away with magic, like the synchronicities, the, 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 the invitations that align with some of your visions, like it is it, like your vision board. Uh, yeah, I just, I just feel so much of it coming to light. But again, there is that condition. You have to rest. You have to enjoy. You have to let yourself receive more through what doesn't feel linear. Okay, because otherwise, if it's linear... If... <laughs> I'm sorry, but you're cranking me up. I love it for... I'm seeing little soldiers. <laughs> you're right. Hum, 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 hum. <laughs> and this is not like the fun this is not a dance this is like yes sir yes ma'am <laughs> okay so we're not doing this we're going like ding, 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 okay yeah you got it <laughs> page of cups so this is usually meaning that there is some healing and i feel this is it's trying right now we're trying to get to the bottom of um, why would you let yourself come out of flow at times? Let me see. I feel like you're not seeing yourself. You're not. I feel like you're not seeing yourself properly. Wow, Audrey, like I can't with me. <laughs> okay, there's something about perce perception with yourself. You're not seeing your full beauty. So what do we need? um to show to pile number four so they can see how great wow where they are wow i love when the cards fly like that oh the nine of swords this is interesting this is interesting okay it's a very this is a placement that is in gemini the last degrees of gemini and what's interesting is that this can help you see the synchronicity of life but it's saying like if you're too much in your head and you're not enjoying the little challenges and the little hiccups that are part of you owning up to your talent owning up to your skills what happens is that you drop in your frequency and you're not able to see it so it's saying that if sometimes you feel lost in the month of July, if you ever feel lost and you're seeking outside of yourself for confirmations from the divine that you're on the right path and you're not seeing it. I've seen, I've done this. So there's no judgment here. We all do this. Sometimes we're looking for external validation and we look and we look and it almost makes us more confused because we're getting different different answers because inside we're all confused so obviously there's one timeline yes one no one yes but or yes maybe or no yes no okay so you're getting the point so what happens is that you're being called and that's again with the third eye instead of projecting out go in and this is where pleasure it's like stop thinking Stop trying to figure out what it is that you're trying to figure out and ask yourself, just like a child that could be crying or that could be like, okay, a tantrum. What would you want right now to feel good? And it could be as simple as <laughs> ice cream. <laughs> I don't know why I thought about that. Some of you, maybe that's your favorite treat. Uh, but it doesn't have to be food, but it could be, sometimes to me, it's like doing my nails, you know, or doing a beauty mask, something that you can 
do for yourself without anyone else involved that can put you in an, at least a place of neutrality, okay? So that's something that, pile number four, in the month of July, you're going through an initiation of this because what is about to manifest for you is beautiful. There's more joy, but the joy, it's almost like joy is the path. Otherwise, the goal will not taste as good. You know all those stories of people, celebra celebrities that make it to the top and then fall because they can't enjoy it because they didn't get to appreciate or it went very fast. Uh, you know, whatever reasons are those, okay? The Page of Swords. With the Page of Swords, it's like, it's, it's, something, it's something that might be new to you to practice, you see here, it's almost like a sword that wants to cut all the swords to end the cycle. I like this. But you're getting the hang of it. You're starting to really, really get it. Yes. The Hierophant is talking about your commitment. It's connected in the Zodiac to the Taurus Zodiac sign. Taurus is connected to your large intestine. And I don't know why I felt called to tell you this, because I think this is when I picked up on a craving. Ooh, look at what you crave. Not just food, but answer to your cravings. And try to see what do you crave. And pick up on that. Some of you, you might want to work. Maybe you have some Taurus placement that could be an indication on your chart on what to work on. Um, you could have your Chiron there. I do have a special promo for reading your Chiron. But there might be something in Taurus or just satisfaction through, you know, digestion, getting comfort, okay, through the large intestine. Large intestine helps us expel, but that means that there's something, to let something in good and to really enjoy it, we have to make sure it also goes out. <laughs> okay, in, out, in, out. Okay, I feel like some of you, it's also maybe a message. If you, uh, I've seen this with clients that tell me, you know, I, I've been constipated and right away I'm going into their chart looking at that Taurus um, or just knowing that it, it's probably a resistance to release something, you're holding on to something, okay, and it's saying just enjoy the art of um, detour, and we have here the strength card, this is related to, to Leo, and I would say in the, in the mid-month, okay, of July, this is when you're going to really see the results, when we're going to be in Leo season, you're going to, you're watching this, Again, in perfect divine timing, but it's teaching you how to navigate things in such more easy way. The training of your mind might not be as easy, but once you start really getting some of those small principles, you can really stop yourself and just say, okay, what do you need? Just like a child, like, you know, like you have to learn how to soothe Soothe yourself is a very being. It just maybe the, a lot of people like ice cream to soothe themselves. Maybe there's something that you know you need to nurture your inner child to help you get back in that place when you lose yourself. Okay, but that I I really feel that you're in the greatest momentum towards it, but you're getting training on it. So again, when there's initiation, <laughs> there's also tests. <laughs> Okay, so that's what I have for you, pile number four. I'm sending you so much blessings, so many just beautiful things that are coming forward for you. If you need personal guidance, I have all my offerings down below. Thank you so very much for tuning in. Namaste. Mm -hmm.